Kevin Durant, who is best known as a star basketball player for the Brooklyn Nets of the NBA, has snagged some pretty luxurious real estate throughout California, including a lavish abode in Oakland Hills when he was a member of the Golden State Warriors, and a luxurious dig in Malibu, California. In addition, Durant had previously owned a home in Oklahoma City, where he had started his NBA career. After recently selling the pair of California homes, the one in Malibu sold in 2019 for a whopping $12.1 million, which boasted beachfront views in the home in Oakland Hills that went for a tad under $6 million, which was also right off the beach. It's a bit of a head scratcher why Durant decided to leave California. We'll take a look at the former homes of Kevin Durant, including that $12 million home that boasted its own private theater and elevator, plus his former home in the Bay Area that boasted a whopping seven bedrooms, eight bathrooms, and over 9,000 square feet. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a house tour you don't want to miss. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, so please do not show up at any private residences because it is not safe for anyone. While tearing it up in the NBA and using a burner account, Kevin Durant has garnered a net worth of $170 million. In addition to being a recognized talent on the court, he is also one of the highest earning basketball players in the world, off the court thanks to multiple lucrative endorsement deals. Between June 2019 and June 2020, Kevin earned $65 million from his various endeavors alone. After spending three seasons with the Golden State Warriors in 2019, Kevin signed a four-year $164 million contract with the Brooklyn Nets. Now, after earning a whopping $40 million per year from an NBA salary, Kevin also earns an astonishing $26 million per year from Nike. These two sources alone give him $66 million in annual income. In addition to the massive payday from Nike, Kevin clears an additional $10 million from endorsements with Gatorade, Degree, and many more. So in a given year, $40 million plus $26 million plus an additional $1 million. Do the math. Nets will never have to worry about eating again. In addition, Kevin has also made a number of venture capital investments. He owns small stakes in a number of companies, including Postmates and investment app Acorns. With more than 40 early stage technology investments. And to top it all off, Kevin's media company has production deals with Fox, ESPN, Apple, and Showtime. Now, Durant's personal life is kept mostly private by the sports star, with little information available. He's known to have dated Bay Area property salesperson Cassandra Anderson, and was previously engaged to former WNBA star Monica Wright until 2014. However, in 2018, Durant spent 12 million to buy a beachfront home in Malibu, California. In May 2019, he listed the home for sale for 13.4 million. He also owns several several properties in the Oklahoma City area. In 2013, he listed his residence in the upper class Cub Villa neighborhood for 1.9 million. Hey, what's going on guys? It's are Marlon Palmer, and today we're back with another house tour here for you on Famous Entertainment. I know it's 95% of you guys watching right now are not subscribed, so please hit that subscribe button because we post new videos daily. Now, we've previously reported on the homes of Miley Cyrus and Justin Timberlake, so if you'd like to check those out, they're on our channel right now. Ring that bell for notifications. Follow me on Instagram at thatdoomcfly so we can chat some more, and let me know whose house tour is next in the comments down below. Let's get into the video. Kevin Durant's first real estate venture was while playing for his first NBA franchise, the Oklahoma City Thunder. Two years after he initially tried to sell his Oklahoma City home for $1.9 million, the NBA megastar put the house back on the market, nearly a 50% price cut. The home was last listed for $1.9 million. The dig featured 5,700 square feet and boasted five bedrooms and six bathrooms. The beautiful contemporary home in Gallardia's gated club neighborhood and is situated on two lots that features a main house and a large guest house. An elegant pool is situated between both homes, which is encompassed by mature trees to ensure ample privacy. The main house features three bedrooms while there are two located in the guest house. Both homes offer loaded kitchens and family areas ensuring pure suburban luxury. Upon entry, the abode features a soaring entryway and a living room with a vaulted ceiling, a fireplace, and several seating areas for entertaining. The kitchen with its checkered floor, a steel countertop, and high-end appliances is a chef's delight. More opulence can be found in the red wheeled master bedroom which features high ceilings and blonde wood planks. As Kevin Durant's salary and earnings went up, so did his real estate portfolio. The home which he rented during his time with the Golden State Warriors was last listed on the market for $5.9 million. The massive dig features a whopping 9,000 square feet and both seven bedrooms, eight bathrooms. The most dramatic entrance features a circular driveway that comes complete with a manicured grounds and beautiful greenery. Upon entry through the luxe glass front doors, this lavish home features soaring ceilings tall enough for Kevin Durant's six foot 10 frame. An elegant spiraling staircase and enormous floor to ceiling windows, these oversized windows offer breathtaking views of the Bay and San Francisco skyline. 
and give the home an airy and roomy ambiance. Guests lucky enough to visit can take the curb staircase leading to the upper or lower levels or relax in one of the many living spaces that boasts elegant paintings and contemporary art. The kitchen features all the custom built-ins, marble countertops, stainless steel appliances, and an island beautifully centered in the room. The bathroom features elegant tiling and marble tops and enormous stand and shower and a soaking tub that boasts a spectacular skyline view. The bedroom features a combination of oversized windows to give the room life, lavish furnishings, and contemporary paintings to give the room more personality. Probably the most luxurious features include an in-home theater that features cozy leather furnishings perfect for binging some ball. In addition, Durant also had his own private basketball half court in case he felt like shooting some hoops, of course. The backyard is pretty luxe too, as it boasts a perfectly trimmed green lawn, concrete terrace, and a pool that steps away from an outdoor wet bar. Probably the most glamorous of Kevin Durant's purchases was his $12 million Malibu home that boasted 5,100 square feet and came complete with a four bedrooms and six bathrooms. The multi-level home underwent an extensive remodel in 2013 and boasts spectacular ocean and whitewater views as it's right off Broad Beach. Situated on a private gated street, this home features vaulted ceilings with an open floor plan and walls of glass showcasing the majestic cove. The home is decked out with wide plank French oak flooring throughout and features an expansive great room with a cozy fireplace. Not to mention throughout the home, there are oceanfront views from the oversized windows, giving the house an airy and roomy ambiance. One living room in particular features a breathtaking ocean view that comes complete with a dining table with seating for 10, steps away from the Calcutta marble kitchen, complete with four bedrooms and six bathrooms, including the master retreat and private guest suite, with a spa and balcony leading to the beach. Not too shabby. Other features include a massage and exercise loft, which is perfect for post-game workouts. And hey, if you pull something lifting weights, you can get from all levels of Durant's home elevator. In addition, Durant's dig includes a library and home office, where he probably signed a big endorsement contract or two. Let's dive into the six features. Well, Durant's home does boast its own private theater that could seat his whole team. A wine cellar for those that fancy a Chardonnay, of course, and wet bar for those sick, sick parties. Not to mention the dig features surround sound throughout the home and with all the balconies, one of which that features a hot tub, fireplaces, and flat screen televisions, it's safe to say that this would be a pretty dope spot to party. All right, so I think I'll bring this house tour to an end here. We got to take a look at Kevin Durant's homes and that massive, massive house in Malibu with beachfront property, like, that's just beautiful. After seeing that fancy house he snagged, what did you guys think? Was it everything you would expect out of Kevin Durant? Personally, I was a huge fan of those living spaces. Like just the open views of the beach and the ocean views, is that, that's that's me right there. Out of Durant's features, which ones were your fave? You guys can go ahead and rate them in the comments down below. I'd also love it if you guys would subscribe to my personal channel, That Dude McFly, for more videos and hit us up to tell us whose house tour you would like to see next in the comments down below. I'll see you guys next time.